Step Into the World of Dynasty, a TV series that captured audiences in 1981 and continues to leave a lasting impact. Have you ever thought about the first time you tuned in to this iconic show? Or perhaps there's a specific scene etched in your memory? This classic series has more than just drama. It's packed with funny, shocking, and sad moments that will keep you hooked. So when was your initial rendezvous with it? Share your stories with us. As you journey through the twists and turns, is there a particular moment that stuck with you, leaving an indelible mark? The beauty of this series lies in its ability to resonate with viewers, making it more than just a show, it becomes a part of your own narrative. We're eager to hear about your most cherished memories and personal experiences related to it. Drop your stories and reflections in the comments below. Your unique perspective adds depth to the tapestry of its impact on viewers. Stay tuned for more fascinating facts and anecdotes about it. There's a lot to unravel, and we want you to be part of the conversation. Keep watching for the many surprises in store. The 1981 TV series Dynasty, a captivating drama, made a significant impact during its time, leaving an enduring legacy in popular culture. As the show unfolded, it garnered widespread acclaim for its compelling storytelling and memorable characters. Viewers were drawn to the glamorous lives of the Carrington family, filled with power struggles, betrayals, and opulence. Dynasty's impact on popular culture was palpable, shaping the television landscape of its era. It became a cultural phenomenon, with audiences eagerly anticipating each episode. The show's influence extended beyond the screen, giving rise to a plethora of spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations. The Dynasty universe expanded, captivating audiences in various forms. The spin-offs and adaptations further cemented Dynasty's place in the cultural zeitgeist. They allow Wood fans to delve deeper into the world of the Carringtons, exploring new facets of the characters and their complex relationships. The franchise became a staple in the entertainment industry, showcasing the enduring appeal of the original series. Merchandise associated with Dynasty became sought-after items, reflecting the show's impact on consumer culture. From clothing lines inspired by the characters' iconic styles to collectibles celebrating key moments, Dynasty's influence permeated into everyday life. The show's memorable quotes and scenes became ingrained in popular discourse, contributing to its lasting legacy. In retrospect, Dynasty's reception and enduring legacy underscore its status as a trailblazer in television history. The show's impact on popular culture remains evident through its spin-offs, merchandise, and adaptations that continue to resonate with audiences. Dynasty's cultural imprint endures, a testament to its captivating narrative and the indelible mark it left on the entertainment landscape. The 1981 TV series Dynasty left an indelible mark on the landscape of television, influencing subsequent shows, movies, and media. Created by Esther Shapiro and Richard Shapiro, it set new standards for glamour, drama, and opulence in the soap opera genre. Its impact on television was significant, shaping the way subsequent series approached storytelling and character dynamics. The depiction of the wealthy Carrington family in Denver, with their intrigues and power struggles, became a template for many shows that followed, introducing a level of sophistication and grandeur seldom seen before on the small screen. In the realm of soap operas, its influence can be compared to other notable series of its era, such as Dallas and Knott's Landing. While Dallas focused on the oil-rich Ewing family and Knott's Landing explored suburban life, Dynasty stood out with its emphasis on the glamorous world of high society and corporate power. Each brought its unique flavor to the table, contributing to the multifaceted landscape of 80s television. The dynamic characters, led by the formidable Alexis Colby played by Joan Collins and the charismatic Blake Carrington portrayed by John Forsyth, paved the way for complex characterizations in subsequent shows. The interplay of power, betrayal, and family drama became a formula that resonated with audiences and was emulated in various forms across the entertainment industry. Its influence extended beyond television, leaving an enduring impact on the portrayal of wealth and power in movies and other media. The exploration of intricate relationships and the pursuit of wealth became a recurring theme in storytelling, reinforcing the idea that the pursuit of success often comes at a cost. In conclusion, its legacy is not just confined to its time on the air, but has had a lasting impact on the entertainment industry as a whole. Captivating storytelling, memorable characters, and exploration of the high-stakes world of the wealthy have continued to resonate with audiences, shaping the way subsequent shows and media approach drama and glamour.
In season six, Blake mentioned his mother's name as Ellen Carrington, contradicting an earlier statement by Fallen, who claimed to be named after Blake's mother. This inconsistency adds a layer of complexity to the family dynamics. During a 22 interview on Larry King Live, Joan Collins revealed that Jessica Walter was a top contender for the role of Alexis before she ultimately secured the part. This insight provides a glimpse into the casting considerations that shaped the iconic character. To introduce a male antagonist against the formidable Alexis, the character of Adam was strategically introduced. This decision aimed to balance the narrative by featuring a male villain alongside the already established female antagonist. Joan Collins, in her portrayal of Alexis, became an integral part of the show's success, but it's interesting to note the alternate casting possibilities and the deliberate character choices made to maintain a dynamic storyline. These behind-the-scenes glimpses into casting decisions and character additions shed light on the intricate choices that shaped the narrative of Dynasty. Each detail contributes to the overall richness of the series, showcasing the careful thought put into its development. Long before its inception, John Forsyth had a pre-existing connection with Linda Evans, knowing her since her teenage years through friendships with her sisters and widowed mother. Their paths crossed on the set of Bachelor Father, where Evans portrayed a teen client developing a crush on Bentley. Gordon Thompson, the actor behind the villainous Adam Carrington, bluntly labeled the Dynasty reboot an abomination. Michael Nader, securing the role of Dex Dexter, triumphed over 400 contenders in auditions. These backstage insights offer a glimpse into the show's casting dynamics and the perspectives of its cast members on later adaptations. Such revelations add an extra layer to the understanding of the show's evolution. Lee Berger faced dismissal after seeking more screen time for his character, while Catherine Oxenberg's departure resulted from a contract dispute. Rock Hudson's final acting role was in the series, and his on-screen kiss with Linda Evans caused concerns during the AIDS scare in Hollywood. Despite the show's success, Joan Collins and John Forsyth had a strained relationship, in contrast to Collins' amicable rapport with Linda Evans. These behind-the-scenes dynamics provide a raw glimpse into the challenges faced by the cast. Consideration for the role of Lady Ashley Mitchell involved notable actresses such as Raquel Welch, Angie Dickinson, and Ann Archer. Al Corley initially portrayed Stephen Carrington, embracing the social impact of an openly gay character. Controversy arose when producers yielded to network pressure to alter Stephen's sexuality, leading to Corley's departure. Jack Coleman succeeded him, his arrival explained by a storyline involving an oil rig explosion and extensive plastic surgery. Network standards restricted scenes with Stephen's lovers. Coleman left in 1988, with Corley returning for Dynasty The Reunion. Diane Carroll's planned cameos in the eighth season faced budget challenges ultimately unrealized. Rumors of her return in the tenth season were thwarted by the show's cancellation after the ninth. These instances highlight the challenges and changes faced by the cast during the series, providing insights into the show's evolution. Linda Evans, during filming, had a friend with long blonde hair stand in for her. Meanwhile, Joan Collins, in interviews, revealed a nuanced dynamic with her co-stars. While she and Diane Carroll grew close over the years, Collins and Evans maintained a friendly relationship before and after the show, with on-set competition affecting their friendship. In contrast, John Forsyth and Linda Evans found camaraderie, while his relationship with Collins remained strained, mirroring their on-screen animosity. Regarding casting, Richard Chamberlain was initially considered for the role of Daniel Reese, but Rock Hudson took on the part after Chamberlain declined the offer. These behind-the-scenes insights illuminate the interpersonal dynamics that shaped the show's on-screen chemistry, providing a raw look into the real relationships within the cast. Maxwell Caulfield, recognized for his role as Michael Carrington in Grease 2, introduced a new dynamic to the series. Meanwhile, in the late 1980s, Dynasty held the title of the most watched television series in Yugoslavia. Interestingly, discussions about a potential crossover with Dallas emerged towards the end of both shows, aiming to revive declining ratings. However, this collaboration never materialized. The show witnessed changes in its cast and dynamics with behind-the-scenes insights revealing the challenges and decisions that shaped its course. From casting considerations to character alterations, it navigated a complex web of choices. 
Notably, the addition of Maxwell Caulfield contributed to the evolving narrative. The series' popularity extended beyond borders, gaining significant traction in Yugoslavia during the late 1980s. Moreover, the prospect of a crossover with Dallas emerged as a strategic move to boost viewership, but the idea remained unrealized. In summary, Maxwell Caulfield's role, the show's popularity in Yugoslavia, and the proposed crossover with Dallas shed light on its diverse elements. These facets, along with the previously shared behind-the-scenes revelations, contribute to the multifaceted nature of the show. John Forsyth, distinguished by nearly a 26-year age gap with Christopher Kaysnov, who portrayed his on-screen brother Ben Carrington, saw an ironic twist as both actors passed away within six days of each other in April 2010. Forsyth, age 92, and Kaysnov, 66, left an unexpected parallel in their departures. In the realm of on-set dynamics, George Hamilton found romantic involvement with co-star Catherine Oxenberg during his time on the show. The intertwining of personal relationships added a layer of complexity to the behind-the-scenes interactions among the cast members. As the series reached its conclusion, Alexis, portrayed by Joan Collins, assumed the full name of Alexis Moral Carrington Colby Dexter Rowan. The evolution of her character's nomenclature reflected the intricate twists within the show's narrative. These insights into age dynamics, on-set romances, and character development contribute to a deeper understanding of the show's evolution, showcasing the multifaceted nature of Dynasty.